Hey guys, tomorrow is going to be the first cross of the season. I'm very, very happy. Oh, I've waited the whole winter. Winter was killing me. I couldn't take it anymore. I mean, I love winter because I can sew out inside and <clears throat> it's fun, but there's nothing that beats the active season where I can make all the crosses, you know. So now I wanted to show you the flower that will open tomorrow morning and it's this one here. This is the Lubivia Hybrid Sylvia that I've shown in another video earlier today. I brought them in this greenhouse to make sure I have better control over the flower, you know. Sometimes you have you have bees and, and bumblebees and wasps flying around in the flowers and uh, you don't want that if you want a controlled pollination. I want to uh, make sure that the pollen that I put on there is actually the plant that I want it I want to get on there so so yeah looks great there are like four flower buds flowers that are opening up now and there are more flower flower buds coming out this one here is pretty far along too maybe I can use this one to, to pollinate the lobivia um, the success rate for Trichocerois pollen on Lobivia is low, but I might try it anyway. Who knows, you know? This year I have a lot a lot of um, flowers and I want to make sure that um, I make some crosses that, are, that mean a little bit risk, you know? You can play it safe on, and only make crosses that, that, you know, where you know that they will probably succeed. But when you do this, you miss a lot of great opportunities, you know. Maybe you uh, you fail with a few remarkable hybrid crosses, but if the one that takes will knock the ball out of the ballpark, you know, of the, out of the ballpark, the one the one that takes is like a next flying saucer or Orange California. So this year we are going to try some very risky crosses. And uh, I will let you participate in everything I do, you know. This is going to be my YouTube channel. It's going to be a big thing in the next years. And uh, you can you can see it all. You can, you can see the success. You can see the failures. You can see, like, you know, no, I don't know what happens. But in the, in the life of a cactus grower, something happens all the time. So, yeah. And you can participate. You can... You can write comments and please share the share the channel link because it's not it's not easy what we're doing. You know, the the life of a cactus breeder isn't easy, and making these videos isn't easy. But if we see that there's that people like it, that people are into it, we will continue doing it. I will continue doing it, and I'll also um, bring some friends in to help with the videos. And yeah, it's going to be great. All right, guys. Now the, it's it's late in the evening. I was just making a final round through the greenhouse and through the garden, and it looks great. You know, it's it's. I have that feeling when I when I get out of the the garden and out of the greenhouse in the evening. I'm like, oh, I don't want this day to end. I it, it's just too too much fun. But tomorrow I am getting like two hundred cement plates for for the new greenhouse floor and uh, so i need to take a break because today was very rough and tomorrow will be another rough day for everyone i'll have some some friends helping me with the with the plates but it's still going to be hard all right guys take care have a nice day bye